This article that came out uh, last year in the Journal of Medical Ethics called After Birth Abortion, Why Should the Baby Live? And it's actually a defense of infanticide. And I use that article as an example of how to, re I, well, what I do is I model how to respond to this, to their reasoning by actually uh, employing some of the re their own reasoning against them to show that what John Paul II says in the Gospel of Life that there's this common rationality or this common reason or what we call natural law uh, that we can actually converse with people and maybe even persuade them to become pro-life even when they hold views that seem to be deeply hostile to the pro-life position. They, they talk about the fetus being a potential person, but not an actual person. Uh, for a lot of people, that sounds kind of odd. What does it mean to be a potential person? And what I do is I focus on that by pointing out that when they talk about a fetus's intrinsic end or potential, what they're really saying is that there's a good to which it is ordered. If there's a good to which it is ordered, that means if we artificially uh, disrupt that good, we've harmed it in some way. And this is something that a lot, of, a lot of Catholics understand that. I mean, they understand that even if they're not philosophically trained, they understand that we're ordered towards certain goods. And the purpose of, in fact, acting in charity is to make sure that human, our fellow human beings acquire these goods. Secularists have largely denied the understanding that there are intrinsic goods because they deny that the universe is ordered in any way. They believe that the universe is somehow the result of material chance causes in some way. But down deep, they actually act as if the, the, these intrinsic purposes exist. So, for example, um, you'll find secularists saying things to their critics like, you're ignorant. Well, to say that a person is ignorant is to assume what? Their mind is ordered towards the acquiring of wisdom. Well, so, so it turns out that even those that may verbally deny those aspects of nature that we as Catholics fully accept, they actually function as if they're true. <laughs> so we can rhetorically respond to those that are critical of the culture of life by in some ways appealing to those very premises that they don't even know they believe.